Welcome into the SWX Studios. Well, boys and girls, it is almost officially summertime, and you know what that means. Time for some good old-fashioned rodeo. Let's get straight to the action from the City of Belt. 59th Annual Little Belt PRC, a rodeo night one of action. We start with a little bareback, everybody's favorite, Richmond champion. Talk about a great name right there. Straight out of Woodlands, Texas. He gets us started. Last all eight seconds, he will score a 75. But his lead will be short-lived. Caleb Bennett of Corvallis. Riding the great flirtatious, say that five times fast, and he is your winner with an 85. Moving on to steer wrestling. Number one in the world, number one in your heart, Helena's own Ty Erickson. Lightning fast, he wins the event with a 4.6. Now, let's switch it up a little bit. How about a little saddle bronc now? Jesse Cruz from beautiful Great Falls, Montana, holding on for dear life. He finishes that ride with an 86. Here's a guy we saw earlier, Chase Brooks trying to catch Cruz, but the horse is uh, not down for the ride. He'll get a re-ride, but comes up just one point short. He finishes in second with an 85. Let's switch gears now. From the rodeo scene to our national pastime, last night was opening night for the Great Falls Voyagers, and while they did drop the game 6-1, to one, one of the best parts about baseball and one of my favorite parts is that usually you can get a chance for redemption the very next night, and that's what the Voyagers did tonight. Voyagers taking on the Missoula Osprey again tonight. Carter Love got the nod on the mound for the Voyagers. He goes five innings. He gets the win, giving up two runs. Edgar Martinez takes the loss from Missoula. Nick Johnson, wham, bam, shut the door on the Osprey. Johnson gets his first save of the year. Harvin Mendoza with the first Voyager home run of the year, and the Voyagers win it by a score, 5-3. to three. Staying with baseball, but moving over to some Legion ball. The Senators took on the Scarlets today, and as the old Wrigley commercial went, double your pleasure, double your fun, so why don't we play two games in the capital city today? Game one of the day and second of the weekend series. Let's jump ahead. Top half of the third, runners on first and third. Colby Kimmett singling to right field. That would score two after a throwing error to tie the game at dose runs apiece. And after a back and forth game, it would be Billings, of course, who would pull ahead in the top half of the top half of the seventh. The score tied at five. Up came pitcher Aaron Seward. Singles.